Hi, this is John and welcome to a quick WAG tutorial. Start by going to CorporateCentral.com and clicking Sign Up. We'll choose the free option and enter in all the required information. Feel free to pause the video to follow along or read the document that follows this video. Once filled out, we'll accept the user agreement and click Sign Up. An email is sent immediately to activate the account and once clicked, we're all set to start creating our apps and in this case, a recipe app. Let's name it My Recipes app and click Create Application. Now we can make our first form. Let's call it Recipe. You'll be presented with the complete development environment in a browser and what you see is what you get. We'll start by adding a text field called Recipe Name and make it required. Next comes the list field which we'll name recipe category and then add all of our categories to choose from. Now let's add two number fields, one for cook time and the other for prep time and require them both by clicking the required button. Our third and final number field will be total time and we'll click calculated then formula builder. In here let's add cook time plus prep time so that it calculates that automatically. Formula builder can be used for creating calculations like this one without knowing the syntax. Afterwards let's add a rich text enhanced section and title it directions. We'll leave the predefined check so users can add images, videos, and other items to the directions. The next section to add is the document management section which we'll name pictures. Then we'll uncheck everything and make the images custom size to 100 by 100. But hold on, if you have an iPad or Android tablet, take it out because WAG is the world's first and only development environment for mobile tablets. This allows you to create apps without using a computer. To select something that has been added like a section or field, make sure to hold it down until it turns green to start dragging. Let's close that form now and create another titled ingredients. First, let's change the column name to amounts by clicking on ingredients at the top and also change the width to 50%. Now let's also change the section name to amounts. After renaming both of those, we can drag a text field named amount and require it. Once finished, we will create another column by simply dragging it to the left. Let's name it Ingredients and change the width to 50% so both columns are identical. Then let's drag a standard section titled Ingredients. After the section comes a field. We'll use another text field which we'll also require and title ingredient. Now let's close this form and go back to our recipe form we created a bit ago. In this form we'll drag a data grid subform section titled ingredients list and uncheck criteria based so users can add new ingredients without any unwanted ones being there. 
Then check amount and ingredient. We are all done with our forms. We will now click views and create a view titled recipes and change the drop down selection to recipe. To finish this view, we'll check our desired searchable items and then show pictures. Let's make it show the first 10 images. WAG then gives you the option to reorder your fields, which I'll leave alone. We're now finished with the app. Let's now go to user mode where we can start adding recipes. We'll click new recipe and start by adding one of my favorite dishes. We can view the whole recipe category list or start typing and the items start to auto populate. And when we input the cook and prep time, the total time field will automatically add the two like we told the formula builder to. Now comes adding the directions and ingredients. I've inputted everything and now we'll add the picture which I'll copy and paste. The option to choose a file from your computer is also available. Once saved, that amazing recipe is in our app. I went ahead and added a few more delicious recipes and they are all searchable and able to be found quickly. Additionally, the app theme can be changed at any time by clicking design mode and going to themes. Here the entire CSS3 specifications is in our hands to create anything imaginable. To view our created app on your iOS device, download Web App Generator from the App Store and sign in. Here's our recipe app. Let's first take a look at the orange chicken recipe and see the picture that we added. Adding recipes on the mobile app is also a feature. I'll make a new recipe on granola bars. After adding all the info, we can add pictures, video, or audio. We'll snap a few pictures of a granola bar, and once the pictures are taken, they can be viewed. After saving this recipe, let's search for our side dishes in the built-in search function. The search starts auto-populating our data and once we click side dishes, all our recipes in that category are shown. Let's now add a recipe on our recipe app using an Android device. I'll add in the information including the name, category, cook time, prep time, and then snap a photo off camera of a hash brown breakfast. After saving the recipe, it'll show on the device alongside the other recipes. Within minutes, we've created a great recipe app. This is just a brief demonstration of the capabilities of WAG and how it can save great amounts of time and money when creating mobile and desktop apps. If you're interested in taking this app to the next level with even greater features, watch the extended recipe app tutorial videos.